Well, we'll see if this makes any difference today. Just a little bit of bandaging and strapping courtesy of Julia. Good morning, everybody. It is day eight today, I think. And uh, we are leaving Paihia. Stayed in a beautiful little motel room last night. Fantastic idea. Cost us about $15 more than it would have to stay in a hostel, so that seemed well worth the price. And uh, spent most of the afternoon and evening resting my knee and uh, rubbing it with copious amounts of um, anti inflammatory cream. So we'll just see. I think today is uh, 27 odd kilometres of road walking to Cheryl's place at Waikari. Um, we decided not to do the three to four hour kayak for a number of reasons. Mainly, it's ridiculously expensive. Um, and secondly, because neither of us are particularly fussed about kayaking, having not really done it. It would have been a good opportunity to rest up my leg, but I think it's also doing the road walk is a good opportunity to um, get my leg working and moving and hopefully strengthening it up a little bit as well so at least we are moving forwards and I have um, rolled my foot out on an iced water bottle this morning to try and help the planter along a little bit that seemed to have worked yesterday and Julia has kindly lent me a bandage to put around my knee as well so today I'm just going to be working on trying to work trying to walk rather properly rather than overcompensating for what I assume will be a sore knee. But yeah, carrying four days worth of food at the moment, so excited to get through some of that pretty quickly and get rid of some of the weight out of my pack. <laughs> so the trail has us going around this peninsula here um, to walk to Opua, but uh, the tide's pretty high, so we're just gonna walk back along the road. Man, I love this place. Paihia is one of the most beautiful places in New Zealand. So much to do here. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Good morning so far. Just walking through the top 10 holiday park in Paihia. A beautiful walk this morning along the Paihia to Opua Highway, and the rain seems to be holding off. So, we're just coming up on the Opua Vehicle Ferry now. Uh, it's just coming into the harbour at the moment, but uh, we won't catch the next one. This morning has just been so beautiful. It's just gorgeous out there. I've forgotten how pretty the Bay of Islands is when you're in agony and you're in pain like I was yesterday when we got in. It's very difficult to appreciate what's around you, but this morning has been a good start to the day. It is going to absolutely start pouring with rain soon. The clouds are very, very dark up there, you can probably tell. I'm trying to just take it really easy today. I'm trying not to get pushed along. Um, Julia's pace is a lot faster than mine, and whereas I can keep up with her, I think it's just putting a little bit too much pressure on my legs and probably my body in total. The strap on my knee seems to be working all right so far. And here comes the rain, <laughs> but it's just beautiful today. This morning is a good day, but we'll see what it turns out like later on today. <laughs> just did the last couple of k's through the forest track to Russell which is beautiful but <laughs> lots and lots of steps to climb. That was uh, a bit of a heart pumper for the last 
little while but uh, really really beautiful and so far the sun is out but I think we're heading into some bad weather so we've taken our jackets off for the moment but probably gonna have to put them back on very soon currently on the road walking section from the Opua vehicle ferry Out. <laughs> just take it slow and just give them space. So we are at Cheryl's place in Waikari and we are about to head to bed, um, ready for a big day tomorrow. Um, today was interesting. <laughs> today was a rather large uh, rather long day rather started off absolutely beautiful walking along the Paihia to Opua walkway and um, then we caught the ferry, the vehicle ferry across to um, Okiato and began our long road walk and I think we walked something like 8 to 10 kilometres um, before somebody pulled up in a van and offered us a ride to Waikari which we did not pass up because I think we were already pretty sore by then um, and got dropped off down the end of Sheol's Road here and um, walked the last couple of kilometres to her place um, I think we were both quite surprised when we turned up here um, so Sheol's place is entirely off grid and um, a little bit run down for people who aren't used to Kiwi homes. Um, her home here is on Māori land. It's been in her family since 1940. They've been living off grid for a long time. They've been providing accommodation to TA walkers since um, the trail was open. So they are <laughs> experts at this. And it feel a little bit weird to start with, but uh, then of course she all came home and we met her partner Peter and they are just lovely, lovely, lovely people. So um, incredible, incredible conversations that we've had with them this evening and i um, really happy to be here with them. So tomorrow we are heading into the Russell Forest and I'm a little bit nervous about that. It will be my first foray into a forest. I don't know why I'm so nervous. I've been into forests before. Um, but I think I have a little bit of anxiety about getting lost and, and then when we get out of the forest on the other side apparently there's quite an aggressive dog so I'm hoping that we don't come up against this dog and I'm hoping that if we do that neither one of us gets injured or anything like that so I've heard some horror stories about this dog so I suppose that's something to worry about tomorrow but for now I'm just going to finish off a crossword puzzle and hit the hay ready for a, a shorter but um, probably quite a difficult day tomorrow. So good night and I will see you tomorrow morning. Good morning everyone. It is day, do you know I don't even know, I think it's 9 or 10 today. Today we are in the Russell Forest and uh, so far it's really pretty and beautiful. It was a really cold night last night um, at Cheryl's place. Yeah, made me a little bit worried for what's to come. Obviously my tent only being a single walled tent I don't think is as insulated as it otherwise would be if it had a, an inner and a fly. Um, my quilt is what it is. I mean it did keep me relatively warm so that's nice. Um, so it's about eight kilometers through the forest today. I mean based on my very rudimentary knowledge of forest tracks I'm expecting that to take us maybe three hours and I think um, yeah once you've actually walked down Waikari Inlet Road and Cheryl's place is quite a way down that road 
um, you actually ch cut off a good chunk through the forest track so that's really nice so we managed to shorten our day slightly today our goal today is to get to Oakura or possibly even Helena Bay I'd prefer to get there but we're not sure about accommodation options there so just means that tomorrow it makes it a lot shorter day um, otherwise we're looking at 34 kilometers or something tomorrow which is just crazy so yeah so enjoy the scenery today I'm sure it's gonna be beautiful I think there's gonna be a bit of walking down a river today as well so. This must be Sue's place. There you go. We can often drive you to Helena Bay in the morning. Excellent. Good morning everybody, uh, I think it's day 11 today. So this morning we woke up in Okura and uh, had a really great sleep last night actually. Tent was on a little bit of an incline but uh, yeah it was really nice, nice and warm. Woke up with a dry tent this morning which was really nice um, and we managed to arrange a ride to the trailhead this morning so that we could skip about six kilometers of road walking. We just really didn't want to do that today and uh, I'm glad that we didn't. So um, we are starting at High Chaparral here, uh, heading out on um, through a couple of forests today, um, through to Whangarei Heads in a couple of days. So I'm excited to get started. The weather is looking pretty terrible. Uh, I'm not too sure whether we're in for some storms today, so I don't know how much video footage there will be from today, but um, we'll see. But yeah, definitely excited to get started and get through to Fananaki, to the holiday park there, and to hopefully another good night's rest tonight. This is the face of an almost defeated person. So many hills. It just feels like you're going up and up and up and up 
and they are not small hills either. They're big ones and they're muddy. You just got to take it in chunks and just keep going. Poor Julie is having a really bad day. I'm getting that way too. Well that was interesting. So I just hiked all the way down this trail. Probably not that long actually, but maybe a kilometre as much as that. Got out into a little clearing, reached around to grab my phone, to check where we were going, and realised that it wasn't there. Oh, I'm so angry. I'm just so angry because the only reason it wasn't there is because the bloody track is so overgrown and we just spent like 10 minutes pushing through bushes that are so thick and so prickly and they're in your eyes. Obviously it had just gotten caught on one of those branches and just fallen out of the pack. But I was sending up so many little prayers to the universe to just let the phone be lying on the track somewhere and not lost in a bush you know where I couldn't actually see it and it was it was just sitting there on the track so I mean I suppose you have to be thankful right but and I'm thankful that I didn't have to go back as far as I thought I was going to have to go back to the last place that I knew that I had it of course on a day like today I'm not doing very much videoing so the times between when I'm checking that my phone is there or not are few and far between it's amazing how quickly a relatively good day can go south. But never mind, I've got it back now. I think we're going to try and get down to the road and then we're going to have a decent break before we go and tackle the next forest. Because the next forest um, is slightly longer. So my priority now is just to get back to where Julia is waiting as fast as possible. <laughs> Without hurting myself. going down this track. Yeah, you kind of get a good sense of how steep that is. Anyways, we made it. So we just had to come down that and cross the river. And we fell and we, and we got muddy but it was all good. I think both of us have well and truly had enough for today. This has been the longest and the most difficult day so far and that includes the beach section. Just up and up and up and up hills. We're only two kilometers or something from the road end at the moment and yet we're still going up. It's just ridiculous. And we're camping down at sea level, so go figure. Julia asked me earlier if I was collecting leaves. Coke. So good, and I am a legend. I'm just trying to do a quick repair of the massive tear in my waterproof pants today. So, I'm trying to make a flat edge so I can.
can put some duct tape over it, but we'll see. Hey, it's uh, currently day 12 and um, we've taken a zero day today here in Fununaki. Um, arrived yesterday after a very grueling day um, from Oakura. And yeah, just sort of taken today to catch up on a lot of stuff. Doing laundry, generally having lunch, um, eating some of the food that we bought yesterday, and uh, getting ready for the next stretch ahead. But I uh, thought I would do a bit of a video now because I was starting to stress out a little bit about my next resupply packages and the fact that you know like I sent stuff here and there's not really a post office here so I can't send a lot of stuff on and now I'm looking at having to carry a lot more stuff and yeah right now at this particular moment I'm just completely over the whole thing and it's just too hard and I know that once I get back out on the trail I will probably be enjoying myself again but it's like just the thought of another four days of little towns like this where there's nothing and I really struggle to find things to eat in those places and like for the last two days I've been eating proper bread and, and anything like that because it's the only thing that I can get to eat and I'm so hungry so I think that makes me feel a bit crappy and you know just shoving a face full of sugar and all that horrible bad stuff which I really hate doing and you know everybody else that I come across it looks like they're having fun and it looks like they're enjoying themselves and right now in this particular moment today I am not enjoying myself and it seems like the only times I'm actually enjoying myself is when I know I'm going somewhere to stay the day and I don't have to walk and I just can't figure out why my pack is so heavy even though I've got all this lightweight gear and, and these people just keep turning up and they've got tiny packs and yeah I just don't know I just feel like I'm doing everything wrong and it's really getting to me this afternoon Tomorrow we have to get up and walk again and I'm going to have all this stuff in my pack and there's nothing that I can do about it. I just have to get up and walk. The day started so well. So I sort of have to pull myself out of this funk a little bit and just get on with things. And remember that yesterday I did something really hard and two weeks ago I couldn't have done that. So I just need to keep going but I think I'm really quite homesick and... I just want to go home right now <laughs> and it's so easy to just go home because it's just down the road but if I do that then <laughs> then I miss out on all the experiences that are still to come and I'm not ready to give up on that yet <laughs> sorry <laughs> I promised raw videos but <laughs> I didn't even think that I would be in tears this much, so it's nearly dinner time. I'm going to go and try and relax a little bit and try not to stress so much about things and just see where tomorrow takes me. Hi, Rosanella. Hi. 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 H